How's it going? Well, we're halfway through. He is Long Reaper. And I'd say this next part is probably a little shorter since it has a front and back page included. All right, let's see. Figure out how to do this. All right. How are Islam and America related? How are they related to Christ? How is it Christ Christianity related to it? How is anything? What does that even mean? I guess I have to read this. Yeah, somehow they're related. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Find out. A quote from the uh, Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and end quote. <sighs> these ideals are very much part of the Islamic faith. <sighs> You know, yeah, they're fairly broad-minded in some ways. Anyone could be a Muslim, and then you're equal. Yes. But only if you're a Muslim. Then you could be any race or whatever. I mean, yeah, I remember there, back in the day, uh, they... Uh, they allowed Christians to live among them in feudal times, uh, and they could stay Christian. All they had to do was give their firstborn son to the caliph, and they became Janissaries, trained assassins. So, yeah, equal, right. No one's asking Muslim families to give up their, their firstborn son. That was a tax. A tax of a child. Look it up. Ugh. Muslims believe that all humans are crea <coughs> created equal and are blessed by their creator with certain rights. It didn't say inalienable, it just said certain rights. Hmm. The right to life, the right to pursue eternal happiness. Eternal. As in, never ending. Yeah, pursue that. <laughs> All due diligence. <sighs> and the right to liberty. In most cases. As Muslims see it, is but liberty, as Muslims see it, is not just defined as freedom of religion, assembly, and speech, but freedom from subservience to any creation of the Creator. So they're saying they were anti slavery at some point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, uh, so you don't have to worship, you know, you don't have to worship a creation of the Creator. No. It is the freedom to serve the Creator, God Almighty, alone. Not so progressive sounding, I would say. But, yeah, yeah, there, there was some progress in, among Muslims, I will say. When Christians were dragging their knuckles and uh, burning witches and shit, Muslims are a little bit better. They also, it's 
grabbed up all the ancient Greek writings, and I mean, there are things we would have lost if they hadn't have stolen so we could steal them back. <laughs> and of course, he has some new ideas with you know, algebra and all that. Uh, while many so called Muslim nations are not, Islam is democratic in spirit. Okay. That kind of excuses some things away, I guess. Some people just aren't getting it right, I guess. But it's spirit they would be democratic. Uh, Islam advocates the right to vote, the right to self-governance, and the right to self-determination. That's nice. Uh, the Quran enjoins Muslims to rule themselves through consultation and consensus. Muslims believe that each person is responsible for his or her own deeds and that all stand equal before God. This independent spirit, on one hand, coupled with the egalitarian worldview in the other, are both uniquely American and apparently somewhat Muslim. The American ideals of independence, liberty, democracy, equality, and especially monotheism. One nation under God are all found within Islam. I don't know if they realized that that was added in the 50s, that under God part. Before it was just one nation indivisible. And it works perfectly that way. But when you can always tell something's been added when you remove that suspicious part and it all still flows. Lots of examples of that in Josephus and the Bible. Where something just sort of like had something shoved in the middle. Seem like a good place. Right. Verily, this nation of yours is one nation, and I am your Lord, so worship me. And that's Sirah 2192. And that's why they think American Islam are Um Basically, it's a secular country where you're allowed to be religious in any way you want. And supposedly, you're also allowed to, if you ain't feeling it, you don't have to do it. Except that changes from time to time, and I hope it never goes back to that. You know? Let people be known for their deeds and responsible for them. I get that part. Anyway. Chime in, please, and uh, tell me if you passage or anything, and is there something that I missed? Stay tuned. A little more to come. Almost done.